A foundation affiliated with a biotechnology company supporting new opportunities for middle schoolers. A three-year grant from the Biogen Foundation will support learning opportunities and curriculum development in the STEM subjects, science, technology, engineering, and math. The effort will be in partnership with Citizen Schools. To tell us about the program are the executive director of Citizen Schools Massachusetts, Pat Kirby, and Biogen's community lab director, Tracy Callahan. Thank you, Bill, very much for being with us. Thank you. I want to start with uh, Pat uh, to get our viewers oriented here. Uh, citizen schools engaging the students in the school with the world outside. Explain how this works. Sure, yeah, we've been around for 20 years uh, and we partner with uh, public middle schools across the country. We're in seven states. And what we do is we bring in a mobilize a second shift of educators to come into a school building uh, and, and take a six hour day and make it a nine hour day. We bring about 400 extra hours of learning to every student uh, over the course of the year. Uh, and we do that, um, our staff is really comprised of two, two groups. One is an AmeriCorps teaching fellow group. They make a two-year commitment to serve uh, in the school. They work with the, the daytime teachers and then they run the extended day. Uh, and then we also bring uh, community experts uh, in to teach what we call apprenticeships. These are 10-week classes. And so Biogen has been part of that program, but we bring um, you know, folks from engineering and lawyers and, and doctors and, and community artists in to teach 10-week classes to really uh, make the, the, the learning uh, really applicable to the real world. Tracy Callahan, tell me about what's been happening so far in this partnership with Citizen Schools. Sure, we've been working actually with them for a number of years. Since 2008, we've been one of the apprenticeships that we have. And while most of the apprenticeships take place at the schools, in this case, we bring them to Biogen into our community lab, which is an outreach program that we have. And so we have a group of sixth graders that come once a week for over the semester for about 12 weeks. And they get to sort of explore science a little bit. They work right with some of our scientists to come up with a question and actually design and execute an experiment around the question. So this past um, semester, we did one around bacteria. And so the kids actually get to work with the same tools our scientists work with, um, conduct their experiments, and then present their work at the end of the apprenticeship to our employees and anyone else who's interested to come and hear about what they learned. Well, you know, Biogen, you, know, you, you got your location in Cambridge, mm -hmm. you're near right. MIT, and who knows what else. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, what, why try to get engaged with, with kids in the, in the public schools? Well, because we need to have a future workforce. We need more kids interested in science and interested in careers um, within biotechnology. And I think a lot of kids aren't aware of all the different types of opportunities. They have very narrow views of what a scientist is and what they do and the different types of people that work at a biotech company. So this gives us a chance to kind of expose this population of students um, to a lot of different possibilities they might not be aware of. Uh, Pat, I, I think this is a national problem in a way. Yeah. Americans don't get at least the right kind of exposure to some right. subjects. So. How does this help lift barriers? No, that's a great question. And I think, uh, interestingly, um, we have some of the best uh, science and math scores in the country here in Massachusetts, but some of the lowest uh, interest rates in STEM careers, for instance. Uh, and, uh, and we think a lot, of, and a lot of research shows that interest really starts in the earlier years and in sixth, seventh, and eighth grade uh, is, is a perfect time to actually intervene and get kids interested. Um, before they start checking out um, of those types of careers. And so, you know, what we are trying to do with Biogen and, and a number of STEM partners is really spark interest. Um, and so kids who take our apprenticeships in, in the STEM-based sector are 80% likely to want to pursue STEM careers. Um, that compares to one-third of, of students, middle schoolers across the country, who are actually interested in STEM careers. Uh, and so interest is one thing, then you need math and science scores that are actually competitive so that you can be eligible to take the right coursework in high school, et cetera, to continue to have your options as you, as you go forward into college. Tracy, I understand these barriers are maybe even um, more difficult for, for young women. So you have a, a preteen girl in this class, she comes into the lab, maybe there are some women working mm. in the lab. How important is that? I think for both for girls and anyone actually, you need role models. So seeing people um, doing those jobs that you're thinking about doing in the future and sort of being able to see someone who sort of looks like you and think, oh, they can do that. Well, maybe I can do that too. I think that you, that's a huge impact um, that can't be replicated by just sort of you're reading about science in a book. It's really kind of doing that and interacting with the people um, that has that, I think, that bigger impact. So we certainly work to get employees of all types um, involved in our programming and to reach out to the students. Well, you're trying to take this to another level now with the three-year grant. What, what's mm. that going to mean exactly? Well, first and foremost, we've had a great relationship with Biogen now since 2008, and so we've 
think um, first and foremost I would call out their, their employee engagement. I mean, the 37 employees have taught nine apprenticeships, reached over 100 kids uh, in really powerful ways. Um, and we've gotten smaller grants, but, but cumulatively it's been 250,000 over, over many years. What Biogen is doing is making a big bet that we can scale up and serve double the number of students over the next uh, three years. Uh, but also they want us to see, they want to see us develop our STEM curriculum so that we can actually have a, a, a great myriad of other sort of STEM volunteers come and, and, and teach our students uh, a love of science and math. But also they're, they're investing in an evaluation study and we're really excited about this. So we're going to be commissioning uh, an evaluation study by Apt Associates. They're a great um, um, evaluator. They do a, a number of our evaluations. And they're going to be looking at uh, predisposition to go into STEM careers, interest in science and math, and then the effects of our program um, on math and science scores over the next three years. Chris, we just have a little bit of time, but you do have an event coming up pretty soon, the WOW event. <laughs> yeah, so all the apprenticeships that system schools end with their WOW events, sort of the culmination of that apprenticeship over time. And so ours, we want to make it as authentic as possible. Um, so scientists, when they get new findings, often present their work in a poster. So we had a poster session. So all the sixth graders in our apprenticeship program put together a poster of their experiment and what they did and their results. Um, and we had it right in um, one of our buildings and invited all of our employees to come, and the students were able to sort of present their work. It was a great opportunity for them to mm. get more skills. Thank you both very much, Tracy Callahan right, thank you. and Pat thank you. Kirby.